Hello, hello everyone! Welcome! This is Miss Magic Animations here presenting a tutorial on Blender for version 2.71. Yay! Yeah, this version recently came out just a couple days ago. Awesome. But yeah, we are going to go into more depth on this little add-on that I recently found through this website. The add-on is called Unfold, and it actually gives like this cool effect where it unfolds the geometry of the mesh. Now I found it through this website called Blender Add-on List from blenderaddonlist.blogspot.com <laughs> and you can find all these add-ons around so yeah, I found he it here. I just typed in Unfold Transition. And you can find the add-on download through this link. And what you do is you press this link, and then you go to Blender, you know, open it as is, go to File, User Preferences, and then Install from File, then you go to Downloads. In the Downloads, you're downloaded file of the unfold transition should be there. Now once you've done that, you want to go back to user preferences and then go to user because, well, you are the user. Ha 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 ha. You go to user and then you find the unfold transition. See? And then you check it. It even tells you what it does and where you can find it. Yeah, simple unfold transition. Animation will separate faces and set up an armature. So let's see what it does. Let's try to have something with a little bit more geometry than just this simple cube. I'm going to delete it. Shift A. Have monkey. All right, I'm just going to move the camera just a little bit closer. All right, and then we're going to go into the animation tab while the monkey is selected. You know, make sure that you are right clicking the monkey in order to select it. Then you go to the animation tab and then you press setup unfold. There. And then you press Animate Unfold. Now let's see what it does. See? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, you can... You can actually give more specifications on how you want the folds to be. You can have them a little bit more well, a little bit more random. You can also have it go on a little bit longer, longer than 200 frames. Yeah, because if you notice, it stopped at around yeah 200 frames. Although there are some restrictions on what you can do with this add-on, and I'll quickly show you. I'm just going to delete. Yeah, what made the Mesh the mesh's faces go all willy-nilly was the creation of this little rig which helped do all that. Anyway, let's have another monkey. Yeah, there are some restrictions in that no matter what, even if your mesh has soft shadows or has yeah, it has soft shadows. The shadows after the unfold are going to turn like flat. Like watch. Uh ba -ba -bum. Yeah, see? Smooth shadows. And then I'm just going to set up unfold. See? Yeah, it still does that. There's also another restriction. And it's kind of a weird effect, more so than a restriction, I guess. 
Say that you have a subdivision surface on your mesh. See? The thing is that it's also going to subdivide the, the folds themselves, but in a way that looks more like flower petals than actual squares. And I'll show you. See? Yeah. <laughs> Suzanne is now made out of flower petals. By the way, if you didn't know who Suzanne is, it's the monkey head. Yeah, that's her name. And it doesn't matter if you move it up or down, it's still going to have this effect. You can still use this effect, don't get me wrong. I think it can still be a very cool effect. You could use it as something like uh, a flower petal creature is talking to you or something like that. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? There is another caution that I do have for people using this add-on. The thing is that because the add-on takes apart all the faces of the mesh, be very, very careful of meshes with tons of faces. So the more geometry it has, the more calculations it has to do. So you do run the risk of getting Blender to crash. You know, uh, there was actually a point where I was doing that with like a character's face and it took like an hour. If you do have the patience, then go for it. You know, it can create some interesting effects where, you know, you could ha say have like a, a mech, you know, all of a sudden building themselves together. Yeah, something creative like that. Yeah, you could have like a, a mech helmet all of a sudden appearing out of something science fiction-y. Or you could have some kind of crystal monster appearing. There are possibilities. Many, many possibilities. Yeah, it's a cool effect, but do keep in mind that it does have some restrictions. But again, play around with it as much as you'd like. You know, lengthen the time, you can also scale the time, I guess. But yeah, the the time of well, how the unfolds unfold, <laughs> or rather the faces unfold. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this information on the add-on, and happy blending. <laughs>